This is Jimmy Nguyen and welcome to another episode of the Bitcoin Vision, your updates on developments with Bitcoin SV, Satoshi Vision, rebirth of the original Bitcoin. I'm coming to you this week from Melbourne, Australia, home of PauseFest, the world's leading creativity-infused business event, as well as a side event put on by the Blockchain Center and Innovation Melbourne. It's a perfect environment to talk about the explosion of creativity in Bitcoin SV. Stay tuned and learn about what's going on with the scaling test network going public, op return data capacity exploding, what's on chain, crypto fights, a 3D game, and the internet of things on the blockchain from NChain's Dr. Craig Wright. There's so much creativity going on, you've got to stay tuned for the Bitcoin vision. First, let's talk scaling. Scaling is critical to the Satoshi vision to ensure that enterprises have the throughput capacity they need, as well as security and stability. So that's why I'm excited to be the first to tell you about the public launch of the BSV Scaling Test Network, or STN. The BSV Scaling Test Net is designed to be a permanent test network with regular and consistent large volumes of transactions. It also includes enhancements that the NChain team used to recently demonstrate sustained 64 megabyte blocks in their own testing. NChain and the Satoshi Shotgun, who are part of the professional stress test team, began experimenting with the scaling test net in December of 2018. They started with a warm up. This resulted in an update of the network. They implemented performance monitoring and analytics systems and extended the Satoshi shotgun for the test net. Now the scaling test network is ready to launch publicly and we're looking forward to it demonstrating the true power of Satoshi vision. Let's return to talking about op return and its new data size capacity on Bitcoin SV. Since the op return data size limit was lifted, Bitcoin SV has seen an explosion of nonstop developments. But what does this mean for businesses and how can they use this potential? Let's take a look at one example, embedding contracts with permanency into the blockchain. A business could take a contract and record it permanently in a Bitcoin transaction in the op return field so that they could find it later in the event of a dispute with the other contracting party. This will ensure permanency of the contract terms and less disagreement about what the terms were in the contract. In addition, software can now be written that searches for the op return op code in an outputs script pub key, and then use it to verify the digital asset to make sure it's authentic. This is just one example of the many enterprise usages of Bitcoin SV in the op return data capacity. This week's Satoshi shout out goes out to the team behind What's On Chain. Not only is What's On Chain one of the first Bitcoin SV block explorers, their team has now added new features related to op return, such as being able to see the different data types embedded into op return fields. The tool is intended to be a simple, self-hosted explorer for the BSV blockchain, driven by remote procedure calls to a BSV node. What's on chain has enthusiastic developers, and they're a good example of how innovation can continue growing from Bitcoin SV's roadmap. So what's on chain? Here's your special Satoshi shout out. Next, we go hybrid with Money Button on chain. If you want to have some fun, then Ryan X Charles has put the Money Button on the blockchain and it's interactive. As explained on his Twitter account, the on chain Money Button is the first example of a computer plus blockchain plus human hybrid organism. It's like a full-on alien movie hybrid here. And more importantly, it lives based on the interaction between everything, and it never dies. So if you wanna do your part in helping the on-chain money button live forever, please just swipe the button. Let's get into a 3D crypto fight. Crypto Fights is a mobile game that has a free-to-play model, and it's moving over to the Bitcoin SV blockchain. Shrugger, in a yours.org article that announced the change, wrote that we're porting what used to be our side chain over to Bitcoin SV and making it the first class chain. 
This is really exciting to hear and I can't wait to see if CryptoFights also moves its token over to the Bitcoin SV chain using the tokenized protocol. Check it out and get into your own CryptoFight. The Bitcoin world sure loves a meetup. And now for the Bitcoin SV ecosystem. There is an easy to use site to keep track of meetups for BSV enthusiasts around the world. It's Bitcoin Meetup Network and it allows anyone running a local meetup to post information about your event and allows anyone looking to find a meetup to easily locate one. Already the Bitcoin Meetup Network has displayed information for the following cities, Brisbane, Sydney and Melbourne in Australia, Toronto in Canada, Harlem in the Netherlands, Oslo in Norway, Singapore, London, Chicago, Keene, New Hampshire and San Francisco in the United States and Manila in the Philippines. We're growing globally, so check out meetups all around the world on the Bitcoin Meetup Network. Finally, let's check in on the right vision for Bitcoin from NChain's chief scientist, Dr. Craig Wright. Dr. Wright has been writing regularly about new usages of the Bitcoin SV blockchain using NChain's intellectual property. And his latest post is about the Internet of Things. It's entitled Generic Thin Operating System for Blockchain IoT Devices. It outlines solutions for increasing security and privacy of IoT devices, while at the same time creating automated management, all by linking them to the Bitcoin SV blockchain. By the year 2020, more than 50 billion IoT devices are expected to be connected to the internet, so connecting them also and managing them through the Bitcoin SV blockchain will help truly unleash their power. As Dr. Wright explained, such devices may be extremely small and contain only limited processing and memory capacity. So it would be an advantage to have an operating system that's generic, yet small enough to be loaded into any device and yet retain strong cybersecurity. To achieve that operating system, Dr. Wright proposes usage of N-Chain's inventions, including for an operating system for blockchain IoT devices, and even coins the concept of a BID, Blockchain Internet of Things device. In this manner, blockchain IoT devices can be more secure because they use cryptographic keys not stored on the device itself, but that are derived deterministically using N-Chain intellectual property and implemented only when needed for the device to validate necessary actions or data communications through the blockchain. What could you do with such operating systems on the blockchain? Well, you could trigger automated actions from devices if certain conditions are met. For example, if your home thermostat hits a certain temperature that's too warm, it'll automatically tell the air conditioning unit to turn on and cool down the house. In addition, Bitcoin micropayments can be tied to IoT device interactions. For example, if you have a special electronic lock on the front door of your home, every time the door lock opens, you might make a small micropayment to the company that provided that electronic lock service. This is an example of how the approach advocated by Dr. Wright enables automated device actions that use functions similar to IFTTT, if this, then that functionality. You can also have integrated BSV wallets, which can be used to facilitate new ways to monetize all of these billions of Internet of Things interactions. So the possibilities are endless, and the power of the BSV blockchain is unlimited if you really believe in the right vision. Wow, that was just an explosion of creativity just this past week with Bitcoin SV. And I'm glad to talk to you about it from Melbourne, Australia. Keep watching as we go down this journey to truly fulfill the Satoshi vision for Bitcoin. Bitcoin SV will become the world's new money and the global public blockchain for enterprises. You'll see it all unfold here with the Bitcoin vision. Thanks, I'm Jimmy Wayne.